Hi guys, welcome to another video update on the studio progress. Uh, we're about three weeks, three maybe even four weeks into it now. Or is it longer? No idea. Anyway, it's a Saturday and uh, the gang are here helping. We've got a van full, and I mean a van, absolutely full. So we've got canvas being rolled at the moment. Lovely job there, folks. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, meanwhile, Emil and Sergey are starting to break down what was a wall. And we've already taken the white cloth away. And that is in a pile, ready to go in the skip. Uh, so they're busy just taking all the timbers down because obviously we want to reclaim that and uh, recycle it. And that's the whole point. But as you can see, guys, look, you know, let's not underestimate the task that we've got ahead. What lies behind here, all of this has got to be gone through. All of this, we've got to decide what on earth we're doing with it. It's all got to be dismantled and moved. So there is an awful lot of work to do. Um, yeah, there is just stuff everywhere. Just all needs to be gone through, sorted out, uh, packed up and eventually moved. Uh, everything in a bit of a state of mess at the moment, but uh, in just short of an hour and a bit, We've got a very, very full van so far, and that's right chock to the back. Oh, big news. Yesterday, Aidy and I managed to get the, what feels like half a ton of solid steel table. There it is. Moved. We are gonna be trying to forklift this out of the building and down a level onto the roadside. It took three hours to move this, would you believe? Having to turn it onto its side, uh, take wheels off, mount it onto mobile wheels. The whole point of that is that it wouldn't fit through the door. Now, uh, we did have a double door there when we first moved in, but we've long since blocked that up. So yeah, we had to remove the frame off the door and that was yesterday. But anyway, we're making good progress. Well guys, <clears throat> we've managed to get, using a forklift this morning, we've got the half ton table into the van. And now it's just Edie and myself at the new place. Uh, so we've just constructed a ramp. We're gonna try and lever this up now with timbers, get it onto the ramp and down as quickly as possible. That's the theory anyway, yeah, isn't it? there's a downside to it. What's the downside? The downside is that this side weighs five times more than this side because of that plate metal and it always wants to tilt. It's constantly trying to make itself go that way. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. See what we can do. Having spent three hours upending this the other day, again into position and literally all day long bearing in mind now it's three o'clock to get it an hour up the road and off the van on our makeshift ramp believe it or not one of the most difficult things is now trying to get it the right way again because of the weight of this and we're not now pushing on the light side we're pushing on the heavy side where all the steels are so this should be fun Now, just in case you think we're making this up, look what it's done to the pallet. In fact, I'll show you over here. So that's broken the pallet. I know there's a bit of force as it drops down. I get that, but I'm not exaggerating with just exactly how heavy this darn table is. It's been the bane of our lives for yeah. the last couple of days, but it is now in. It's here. Whew. And we haven't had to hire anybody or pay anyone a fortune to do it. There you go. Think about it. Do it yep. yourself. This is a key. If you try hard enough, anything's possible. There's the, there's the proof. Never thought we'd move this on our own. And we have. The framing table is in, and as you can see, it's being used. This is one of the major jobs that neither of us were looking forward to, if I'm honest. But we've got it done. Oh, wall. yeah, we have got a flat a wall. Reason, but we'll let you know later. Yeah, in case you couldn't hear that because of the rain, yeah. There's a reason why we've stripped out the sink and all those horrible cupboards that were there. So now we've got a flat wall. Uh, we also discovered a rather uh, imposing trench. I think this is where the floor, when it was raised, wasn't raised all the way to the edge. So that's going to get filled with concrete. We just shoved a load of old stuff in there for now. That, and that duct tape you said you found? The duct tape. Where, uh, where, where was it? Where was it? Come on. Where was it? It was here somewhere. No, no, it's on the. I put it on the table. Did you? Yeah, it's over there. Oh. Where? No. Oh, there it is on the chair. Oh, my life. <laughs> He's also rerouted the water cable 
<laughs> sorry, water pipe, which was kind of sunk in a U shape there. And now we've taken the sink away. We've been and got pipe and rerouted that. So that's done. Also big news today, lighting rig. Oh my goodness me. Another one of those real horrendous jobs that we were pretty worried about, to be honest. We bought a load of aluminium channel uh, in order to have a more streamlined kind of, you know, smooth looking rig without the ingress of all the big timber joists. But today we just thought, just for giggles, because we've got quite a few lighting rigs that we've made, just for giggles, we'd have a go up to the ceiling and get them up there and see what happened. We've realised we need another one on this end and another one on that end. We've actually just rigged up a temporary one just to see, but this is where corner cam's gonna go. We're ready for when we recommence the live stream broadcasts. Uh, do click a link down in the description for those if you've missed them. Uh, so we'll be having a run of six either way, and potentially there'll be still one lot of four to go down the middle. And then we're gonna cover that with some white sheet to diffuse all the light out a little bit, help it spread, keep all of this monstrosity uh, away from your uh, viewing pleasure so you just concentrate on what's going on down below. So there's going to be lighting here, here and here. <laughs> he's, missed, he's missed his vocation, he's wasted here isn't he? If there's reduction in cabin pressure, get out your snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> See what we do for you, what we do for your entertainment. There, there, is, there is no level we will not stoop down to. <laughs> Let's just show you in the gallery bit as well. So <clears throat> we've got probably all bar about 15 paintings in now from the other place. And uh, we've got the pedestals in. Not everything has been hung and not everything is going to be hung in here. But I have brought all the art in here. While we're doing stuff in the other side, of course, we don't want anything to get ripped, torn or shredded to pieces. Um, so we've just brought everything uh, in here for now. Okay, another Saturday here at the new place. Okay, let's give you a progress update on today so far. Let's go into this part of the building. Still haven't got enough days yet, uh, continual days to do the outside uh, in that light gray, but hey ho, you know, we have had a lot of bad weather recently, but big progress here. Excuse the flickering. In fact, look, there you go. I'm gonna turn the lights off. We have uh, some cubed storage. Uh, fixed against the wall, so that's not going anywhere. You've got the existing ones on either side as well. Lots of stuff still to come over, but actually using this space to use for tool storage, material storage, R&D, all that kind of thing. And then in here, we're probably going to be uh, putting excess paintings because it's quite easy, actually, look, between the car and the outside just to wheel stuff in and out. All right, mate. <laughs> got paint all over him. Bless him. Uh, so what else can I show you? Yes, so we have got, uh, Caroline's been painting this wall here. And the dog. <coughs> and the dog, yeah, we just had a look at him. When the office pod comes, that will sort of go there and it's a horseshoe shape and that will go against the wall. And then ultimately there'll be a mezzanine floor going above it. Let's show you what the rehang is looking like. The floor's a bit of a mess, but I've rehung a lot of paintings today. In fact, uh, there aren't any on the floor now, which is good. So we've put the 150 squares here. Finish this corner off now, which is great. Got one hung up on the wall. Uh, put one of my favourites up there. There's still one to go uh, over here. Still got a dozen or so back at base. So I'm going to bring some on Monday or Tuesday. Got the red halo painting up, which is nice. I've also coated six out of the eight plinths, done those as well today, which is pretty good. So they're gonna be dotted around, but there's sculpture on those. And, oh, my apologies, there are still two on the floor. I missed two. <laughs> but what I've actually done is uh, shuffle a lot around and try and get most things on the walls. Like I say, a couple of spaces left to fill. That's not gonna be a problem. So done that today as well. Another Super Saturday uh, chalked up. Uh, Tuesday now. Uh, yesterday was a skip day as you can see, because it is right behind me. There we go. One skip, 12 yard skip, absolutely crammed full of stuff that we're not gonna use anymore. Glitter, anybody? Uh, anywho, I'm just gonna give that a quick tidy up. It's all been chucked out of the first floor into there and I've been happily dancing upon it as well in between just to try and squeeze everything down a little bit. Big change on the inside now. Uh, do you wanna go have a look? Most of the paintings are dealt with. 
I've just started pulling things out of the old paint room. Now, this is a pile of stuff to go. And as I've been going on, uh, we have been quite ruthless and brutal with what's being filled in the skip. Now you see it from the top. Uh, coffee machine thing has gone from there. This room's almost empty now. Uh, sofas will be dealt with at a point in time. Table's gone, got to roll the mat up. Timber, obviously there's timber everywhere. Big changes in the back here. Uh, it's all the majority of the stuff that was over in this corner. That's now dealt with. It's just Aidy's uh, family heirloom in the corner, which is an old, beautiful old copper tea urn, which obviously we're keeping. Got to make a decision on how I store at the other end with the Christmas tree. Don't know why I call it that. It looks a bit like a Christmas tree to me. <laughs> Got some tooling to deal with. That's fine. Lots of timber to go. But just stuff of ages to have a look at. Uh, lots more timber again. Got to kind of figure out, kind of figure out a timber store the other end. Uh, this is a pile of, I just call stuff. Don't really want to throw it away. It would be a bit of a waste, but I do need to take it over the other side. Uh, see if there's somewhere for it to go. Uh, a place, a home. If not, then it's got to go. I don't know what to do with the TV and the stand yet. Some stuff on the floor got to go, all the carpets and everything. Ultimately, will probably go, but I'm getting to a point now where I, <clears throat> um, Skip's getting uh, pretty chock-a-block. I got um, you know, all the Patreon tiles. Click the link down below. And a spare crate, plus miscellaneous bits of art. So we've done an awful lot. There was an old mattress here. That's gone. There was an old sofa here. That's gone. Got to keep the exhaust system, which you've just seen. Uh, miscellaneous paintings, that's not really a massive issue. Uh, and then that's it. So I know it, it, it looks like a lot, but actually I think we're kind of breaking the back of it. We'll then have to remove the CCTV system uh, and take that. The alarm system will stay. That's, that's hardwired and not worth bringing over. Uh, plus there's some miscellaneous light um, bars and rigs to go. Right then, guys. Uh, this is... Oh, Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. There's a lot going on here already. I've got a shirt and some nice shoes on uh, because I have welcomed our first clients. I uh, got a phone call the other day. Can we come and have a look? Panic, panic, panic station set in. <laughs> this is not ready. But uh, we have managed to get a lot of it ready. And at least everything is in here. And I think it's looking pretty good. We've got all the spotlights still to go up. So there's lots of dark spaces. However, it does look pretty good. It is more like a gallery than it has been so far. So I'm really pleased with that. Looking good, looking pretty good. We've got, uh, I think I counted, how many did I count? 50 odd? 49 or 50 in here, goodness knows how, because it still feels quite open and spacious. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, <clears throat> managed to get the coffee machine in very hurriedly this morning, Caroline helping me with that. Um, so that's good. I managed to give the clients an actual something to drink and everything's clean and tidy uh, at long last. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it and it's looking reasonable so far. So I'm happy with that. And I'm up the floor as well. Let's give you another update on what's been going on today. <clears throat> We've got the great big, it's a bit of a treat actually, <laughs> an acoustic thermal soundproof pod. Here it is. Now this is predominantly so that AD has got somewhere to do the broadcasting from. Uh, for so long, three years, uh, the poor man has had headphones on. And there's been 90 decibel extractor literally two feet from his ears. So I want to give him a space. I can relax, doesn't have to wear the headphones if he doesn't want to. Uh, it's quiet and warm and tidy. And it will also double up as an office. We're going to have a little meeting space in it because it is quite big. And it is going to go here. Uh, now we've got coat number three on the ply board. Uh, so there is still some more to go. I'm still waiting to hear when the trench is going to be filled. So what I'd like to do at the end of this video is show you just how awesome the pod is. But as I'm recording this... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that. Sorry if I can't, but I'm trying. I am trying. That's the hope anyway. But, you know, still uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, still three days to go before Saturday, which would be the day I would do it. And still no trench filled. Getting a bit, uh, getting a bit tricky now. But on the plus side, uh, I've moved the table round. Adia's started to populate the bottom of it with stuff, which is great. 
and I've put the roll dispenser up for the foam wrap, which is what we wrap everything with. Lots of rearranging to do. I need to get more ply board because we're going to ply line the floor ready for the pod to go on. Pod's going to come up to about that level. And then I can properly measure for a mezzanine floor because I found a couple of mezzanine floors I like on eBay. So we're hopefully going to try that out as well. Other than that, there's a mountain of boxes everywhere. A ton of stuff on the van in terms of rubbish. <sighs> Breathe, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, not quite sure how my afternoon's going to pan out, but I've got to take these shoes off because they're killing me. Right, it's Friday, guys. Half past six. Pretty tired. There you go. Usual story. Uh, I'm off because I'm absolutely shattered, but I do want to give you an update. Look, that's what it normally looks like. And look, this is what it looks like now. I've cut the board just about there above the door, which is made out of plastic. Uh, the kicker plate has been ordered out of stainless checker plate. Uh, I've got to pick that up on Monday. Uh, but, barring a tiny bit in the corner over there, uh, the exterior painting on this part of the building is done. Still got to do all of that. But look, what a lovely, lovely cool grey. Lovely, down the side as well. I may do the whole lot at one point, we'll have to see. I, I quite enjoyed myself actually. Uh, pretty involved, a lot of work. But that's looking pretty good. Going to get the spotlight, or the floodlight changed. And then we'll get the sign in the week. Might be on the next video, who knows. In there, uh, some stainless edges corner edges and that's the front of the building but more progress being made.